Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. A freezing cold day for this game between the Arizona State Sun Devils and the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Gamecocks. The Sun Devils are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Arizona State comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame, we're going to blow him out hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. Nice pick, Kirk. I've got to go with Arizona State. Well, Coach, we'll find out if you're right or not. Let's take it down to the field where today's captains are ready for the coin toss. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And it's a short kickoff. Number one takes it to 15. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. This quarterback looks primed and ready to go, but this safety is going to try to ruin his swagger today. You know, this quarterback has a tendency to look to his receiver a little bit too early. And I'll tell you what, if he does that today, this safety is going to come up with a few interceptions. He sure will, Kirk. And this kid is a great athlete, and he's going to be a fun player to watch in today's game. Second down. Number four lines up in the deep back. I formation. They hand it off. Spins up field. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding on the offense. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. So instead of moving Second forward, down. they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. From their own 32-yard line. Second down, 14 coming up here. Jacksonville State comes out with two tight ends. Hands it off. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Number four gains around three yards on the run. Third and 11 here. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. They give to the tailback. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. First down. Jacksonville State lines up for the shotgun set. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Makes the tackle. Loss of four on the play. From their own 44-yard line, we've got a second and 14. They'll work from the shotgun. Again with the run. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Devils line up with six defensive backs. They'll go with the run once again. Tackle at the 46. A one-yard gain on the play. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Number four, alone in the backfield. Looks to pass. Number 11, rifles it. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 12-yard line. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. You drop back to pass and see zone. It's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows, I bet you. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Jacksonville State sets up in the eye. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. Number 11, guns it left side. 
and this one falls incomplete. The wide receiver just let it slip off his fingertips. Yeah, and for any of you kids watching at home, here's a perfect example of not looking the ball in, and the result, as you can see, is points off the board. Number four is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Again, he'll get the call. Good open field tackle. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Tenth play of the drive. The Devil bring in the nickel package. They give to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. Number four gains around six yards on the run. Another fourth down facing this offense, but they did convert earlier this drive. The Gamecocks come out showing three wide, and they make the stop at the four. Should they have kicked a field goal there, Herbie? Yeah, I, I think so. It's only the first half. Get as many points as you can now because you never know how many you're going to have to score in the second half to win. They'll take over at the four-yard line. Take over at the four-yard line. First and ten. Arizona State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Throws it, and it's caught. He's tackled in the open field. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Seven-yard gain on the play. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Arizona State goes with the ace set here. Feeds it to the back. He jukes. Can't wrap him up. He's got everybody beat. The 50, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown! The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the second quarter, and the score, Arizona State, seven. Jacksonville State, nothing. Arizona State lines up for the kickoff. Number one and number eight, deep to return. Decent kick. Number one, passes at the five. Duke move at the 30. I don't think we'll see this offense get into a similar situation this time. So you think they'll convert on fourth down if they go for it again? Hey, why not? If you're having to go for it on fourth down a lot, you're not doing so hot, sweetheart. This defense is in the dime. There's the play fake. He looks. He lets it fly. And he got it! And he's all the way down to the 34-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. First down. They line up in an eye. Gives it to the back. Tackle at the 34. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. on the play. Second it's second ten. down. Ball on the 34-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Hut. Setting up play action. Looks over the middle. And he brings it down. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. Yeah, this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who you can rely on. A touchdown away from a tie. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. Spikes the ball. They'll line up at the 11. We've got third and goal. Arizona State lines up in a dime defense here. Surveys the field. Across the middle. 
and that one's incomplete. So that'll bring up a fourth down. The coach spoke really highly of this kid before the game, and now I can see why. If this guy keeps making plays like that, then there will be a lot more people than his coach talking about him in the future. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Hit as he throws. This one is incomplete. Not a wise fourth down call, huh, guys? You got to get your points when you can. Kick the field goal. This is a type of play that may come back to haunt him. The offense will take over at the 11. Arizona State comes to the line with three wide. Throws. And that one's fallen incomplete. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. The Devils are lining up with three receivers. Hands it to the back. He juice. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. It's third down. The Sun Devil come out in a shotgun. They'll go with the run once again. Zero yards on that play. Arizona State ready to put this one away. Number 28 awaits the snap. Cut. He gets it away. Number one takes it to 47. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? They'll go to work at the 50-yard line. The Gamecocks line up in an eye formation. He looks. He rifles it. Incomplete. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Nah. Second it's second down. Ball on the 50-yard line. There's a play fake. He's brought down at the 40-yard line. Makes the sack. Loss of 10 on the play. They line up at the 40. It's third down and a long way to go. Setting up the play action. Looking. Wants to throw outside. He got a hand on it, but it's incomplete. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score... Jacksonville State will be kicking off to start the second half. And it's a short kickoff. Number 31 takes it to 23. Number 31 fumbles. Scoops up the loose ball. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. Number 24, the lone back. He's looking. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. We've got a second and long. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Devils are lining up with three receivers. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. Got him on the run. Down the sideline. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, ASU. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdown. Here's our Pontiac game-changing performance. He 
here's the try for the extra point. And he adds the extra point. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Arizona State 14, Jacksonville State nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends it off. Number one takes it at the four. Number 22 probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. They'll give it off here. With the spin, they'll bring him down at the 34. Number four gains about four yards on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second down and six. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number four is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Look, and he's going to be sacked. Number 97 makes the sack. 13-yard loss on the play. We've got third and long here. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Devils line up with six defensive backs. Looks. Number 11 lets it go. Number seven with the interception. He stepped up, made a huge play. Boy, this is a nice interception. He showed great awareness in order to get in position for that pass. They'll set up shot at the 31-yard line. Start the drive at the 31-yard line. First and 10. The Sun Devil come out in the ace formation. They'll give it off here. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. They line up at the 27. It's second down and six to go. The Devil line up with three receivers bunched. He looks, throws it out there. Complete tackle at the 11-yard line. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. The Gamecocks line up in a 3-4. He drops back, steps up. He's looking, and he's hit as he throws. And he's tackled at the three-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. The Sun Devil line up in a goal line formation. They'll give it off here. Touchdown, ASU! They keep it on the ground, and this halfback picks up another touchdown. And the success of this running back is mostly due to the great push of his offensive line. And you know what I like about this kid? He's the first person to give those big hog mollies up front credit. Great. They'll line up for the point after. And he converts the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score. Arizona State, 21. Jacksonville State, nothing. Arizona State to kick this one off. Number one and number eight back deep to return. And it's off. Number eight takes it at the eight. He spins at the 30. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. They'll bring in their dime package. Nice play fake. He lets it go. The ball is tipped. The defender had it and then dropped it. A lot of shoving while the pass was in the air. Let's get the call. Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul. 
First down. The defender got a little too aggressive on that play. Yeah, you're allowed to check a receiver downfield, but once the ball's in the air, you have to let go. And he hung on too long that time. They line up at the 45. First down. Back to pass. Surveys the field. Throws it to the outside. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Gamecocks go with the eye formation. Looks. Slings it. His receiver has it. Oh, so close to breaking it. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments, and that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass and pick up the first down. We've got a first and ten. They line up in a double tight set. Not too many points on the board as we end the third quarter. Our score, Arizona State 21, Jacksonville State nothing. First, First ten. down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll throw on first down. He throws it. He's got his tight end. And down he goes at the 14-yard line. So they go to the air and they pick up yet another first down. They've shown no problems moving the ball on this drive. This offense is moving the ball very well. And they're building some beautiful momentum along the way. He drops back. Looking. Wants to throw outside. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Number four, the lone back. Drop back to pass. He's looking. Going to the end zone. And the defense holds. Jacksonville State to kick. Number 24 and number 31 back to return. Kicks off. Number 31 fields at the 17. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. A little misdirection. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. We've got second and nine here. The Devils come out showing three wide. Again with the carry. A little juke. He's tackled at the 35. Nothing going on that one. It's third down and nine to go. All on their own 35. Arizona State lines up in a goal line set. Makes a move, and he's taken down at the 37. What do you think of this guy, Lee? Brad, this kid can play on my team any day, and I'll tell you why. He's almost guaranteed 100 yards rushing every time out. The Sun Devils are lining up the punt it away. Number one is back awaiting the punt. Number one, back deep to return.
Jacksonville State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Arizona State lining up the punt. Number 28 is waiting for the snap. Number one, back to return. Punts the ball away. Number one takes it at the 23. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? I think this one is just too far out of reach. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. And it's incomplete. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. That'll make it second down. It's second down. The Gamecocks line up with three wide. He drops back, looks, he passes it, and it's caught. To the 20, to the 10, and he's in there. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And they're looking to get two points here. Number four lines up at the single back, looks to pass. He's right there for the interception. And they won't get the two. Here's our Pontiac game-changing performance. And they're all lined up for the onside here. Here goes nothing. The hands team recover the onside, so all they have to do now is run out the clock. Right now, the running backs coach is telling everybody, secure the football and stay in bounds. It might sound like common sense, but you just can't stress that point. Arizona State comes to the line with three wide. On the ground, left side, brought down at the 30-yard line. Jacksonville State will take a timeout. That was their second timeout. There's a flag down, and here's the call. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. 15-yard penalty, first down. First and long, ball on the 45-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. It's second and long, ball on the 47. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Hands it off. Tries to juke. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. The Gamecocks take a timeout, and that was their last timeout. down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 39. Arizona State will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. And he takes a knee. Arizona State ready to put this one away. Number one is back deep to return. 
number one, back deep to return. And that's pretty much going to do it. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? Well, it's obvious that the talent level of these two teams wasn't even close. Jacksonville State did a nice job of hanging in there against a far superior team, but in the end, they just didn't have enough to get it done. They played well, though. Nice job, guys. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Arizona State 21, Jacksonville State 12.